Uh, I farm here with my father and my son, uh, 1,750 acres. Uh, we've farmed here since 1920. But here in the last year, the uh, Rock Creek Wind Project was built here and 150 windmills went up in the area, uh, nine of them on us. It's like anything else, you know, I have 15 of them within a mile of my house. Do they make a noise? Yes, they do. They, you, can hear, you can hear them run, but it's, it's like living next to a highway or a railroad track or anything else. After a couple weeks, I don't even hear them anymore. As a landowner, it's nice when the checks show up in the mail and the checks are substantial. During the process, we had lots of community meetings. Farmers would get together in shops and talk and what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I think the main thing on this was communication between the neighbors. The taxes are paid on these, and right now, just on this one project that came into our, our area, it's 150 of them, 137 of them are in Tarkio School District. That is going to translate into $650,000 more every year to Tarkio School District without us having to raise taxes at all. Atchison County there's less than 6,000 people in the county. And I think everyone up here is just happy to see anything come. Not very often does a company show up and drop a half billion dollar project in your county. Do I worry about what's gonna happen 25 years from now? Yes, I do. But we need to think about what's happening right now. If, if we sit around for 25 years and don't do anything because something might happen in the future, nothing's gonna happen right now. I got involved when some uh, county members uh, came to me and Farm Bureau members and said that they had some concerns regarding uh, the wind turbines and, and what that would mean uh, in, in terms of uh, property rights and land value and things like that. Yeah, what, ultimately what we would like to see is a tax, task force at the state level that would examine issues from uh, you know, DNR to conservation, Department of Transportation. Um, even take a look at county commissioners and how they handle things, zoning versus unzoned. Uh, we have a township form of government here in our county. Uh, that plays another role into it. Uh, you know, what, what are we going to see down the road in decommissioning? Uh, what is that going to look like? Uh, the taxation of it, where at the state level does the uh, state assessor take a look at wind turbines? What happens if the wind turbine company moves out of the area? Is the landowner responsible for that is in terms of property taxes? So at the annual meeting uh, in December, uh, we did go through the resolutions process, uh, introducing the idea of a task force uh, and a moratorium to just kind of take a time out and take a break and see, see what these issues mean long term. And that was adopted by the delegate body. Uh, and now we're just hoping that something would move forward uh, legislatively at the state level. I tell a farmer that's looking, that has a wind company approach them, check the contract, make sure it's what you want, because that's the key to this, is we looked at the contracts very closely and made sure we were taken care of. And then you have to ask yourself, you're gonna give some things up, but what you're gonna give up and what you're going to gain, you have to weigh those two things, and I feel we've gained more than we've lost in this process.